Hello and welcome to this episode of T-Tech. On today's episode, we're going to make a hidden tour service on Linux. So we're going to first log in and get root. And what we got to do is install tour. And then we're going to go into Etsy, tour, back up that configuration file want to remove the original and well, let's make a new one. What we want to put in here is hidden service dir and what we want to have is Etsy tour hidden and then your whatever you want for your service name. In this case we're going to use an IRC server in conjunction with tour to uh, hide that server. But this can be a VPN server, this can be an SMTP server, um, you know, it could be a web server, it doesn't matter. Um, it's just Tor, it's IRC in this case. So we're going to do hidden service port. We're going to do 6667 and then the socket address 127.001 colon 6667. So what will happen is we're going to tell our IRC server to listen on 127.001 6667 and Tor is going to receive data from a the Tor server will receive data from a Tor client and it's going to forward that information onto this address which in the end our IRC server will listen on that address. So we're going to save that and let's go ahead and do a startup of Tor. And we'll actually do a reboot as well. It seems to work a little bit better. Yep, there we are. It's listening. So now if we go into Etsy Tor, we'll do a reboot in a minute for that. Anyway, the next portion is our service. we got to change the port number of that. So let's change the IP address, rather. 127.001. All right. Now, we went in here. That's where our RC file is. And then we went for our service in this case, and that, you want that address to match. Now we're simply going to just reboot the machine real quick, and I will see you in a minute. Alright, now that we're rebooted, all you got to do is run Tor, and um, once it comes up, I will show you that the directory is populated. Alright, control C that, and then we're going to go into Etsy, Tor. We see hidden IRCs here. And that's the information for the server, the public private key, and all that. All right. So from here, we're going to go out to the torproject.org and get the tor client. So I will see you there. All right. Now at torproject.org, we're going to type, we're going to tap download tor browser. And then here, we're going to click download tor. Now, if you want the source code, there it is, and you can compile it uh, custom. But we want to use the tor expert bundle. And I'm going to use the one for Windows right here, 12.0.2 at the time of this uh, recording. And we're just going to go ahead and download that. Okay, now with Tor launched, it's went ahead and connected to the Tor network and made a circuit and everything. What we want to do is pay attention to the 127.001 uh, TCP port 9050. That's what we're going to tell our IRC client to connect through. And again, if this was another type of server like a web browser, that's what you would tell it to connect through. But from here with that running, let us go into our web, our, our SSH server rather, onto uh, where our Tor is. And then what we're going to do is go under Etsy Tor Hidden IRC. And at this point too, you can double check and make sure it's running. And it is in this case. We want to cat the hostname file. And this is kind of like a domain name, but it only works inside of Tor. So let's copy this. And now we are going to open up to, at least for some debugging, we are going to open up TCP dump on our loopback interface for port 6667. It's loopback because that's where these packets are going to come through with Tor. We're going to open up XChat. And let's edit the TTEC Tor Onion. 
So what I did there was just made another network just for the the uh, settings here. So we're going to go and delete this here. And let's paste this and hit enter. Now close out of here and let's connect. Once we connect, let's go to settings preferences because what we're doing is changing our proxy settings. Remember the 127.001 and the 90.50 for the port number. This is for the client Tor uh, package running. And then we'll hit OK on that and let it attempt to reconnect. And it does take a minute to attempt to reconnect again. And now we see it says connecting to um, loopback on 9050. So we're going to just give that a minute because it is relaying through Tor. So there is going to be a little bit of a delay. And there we go. We may have to reset it here. <laughs> reset it, the program. Let me try to... Re oh, wait, it's going again. There we go, that's better. And again, that could have been latency or a connection loss caused by it going through a different relay, trying to connect, and it messed up our IRC connection. But now, we can join the channel, just like any, any operation of IRC. So if I put in there, testing one, two, three, we'll go into the channel, and when you see the plain text here, and um, you can read the uh, private message and stuff, right here it says testing one two three it's only plain text from the Tor socket to the IRC server or whatever server we're hiding so anyway it isn't plain text around the rest of the internet it is encrypted via the Tor uh, encryption in the Tor network so this adds encryption to unencrypted programs as well but to drive the point home let's open up another session to this. So you can see we're connecting to the same server but we're going to change our NIC and there we are. If I join the same channel we are in the channel together and testing one two three testing one two three and if we look at our packet capture right here, testing one, two, three is there from TTEC. And let's run that one more time so we can see. And of course, testing one, two, three from user one as well. So that is how we do this here. And one more thing to show you. Because I had it bind to loop back the server that's running in Tor, if I try to connect to the actual IP address of that server, it will not allow me to connect. Now, the proxy isn't going to allow me to connect, first of all, for the most part. It still would in normal circumstances, but because it's not listening on the real IP address, um, it's not going to allow me to. So if we have that there, even if it tries to reconnect, it's still going to say... Um, you're going to refuse that connection. So if we try to connect to the normal, connection refused. Again, because it's not listening on that IP anymore, it's listening on local host. Because the server that's running Tor and the hidden service, so to speak, still has a real IP address on the internet. It's, it's a server. Um, so the hidden part of it is just the overlay network with Tor. Uh, that's the encryption and the part that makes it anonymous and hidden. But with all that, that is how we create a hidden Tor service on Linux. And in this case, we used it with an IRC server, but you can use it with many other services. So I do hope you found this video useful and enjoyable. Thank you for viewing, and as always, it's been Tyler with T-Tech. Have a very nice day.